We got a poll over the weekend, though, that got a lot of attention. It was the final L.A. Times Berkeley poll. Here it is right there. You see Karen Bass, the congresswoman, up six points over businessman Rick Caruso, who spent almost $40 million in ads, probably one of his ads airing during this show. Kevin DeLeon in third place, undecided at 15%. Here to talk about it is Peter Hamby. He is with Snapchat News. He's also with Puck News, which is a new news site, uh, which is does, does these really smart deep dives into big issues uh, in politics and Hollywood and tech. I highly recommend it uh, if you're looking for really smart analysis. Peter, great to see you. Hey, Alex. Thanks for the plug. Appreciate it. How are you? I'm doing well. That poll, uh, a lot of people in terms of the political world that you and I talk to don't necessarily believe that poll. Why is that? And, and where do you see the state of the race right now? It, it's interesting. I mean, I look, we are so hungry for data all the time these days. There's not a lot of polls out there for statewide races, let alone mayoral. So everyone was parsing the details of this. But yeah, we're probably in a lot of the same uh, text threads with other people on politics. The fundamentals of this campaign suggest that Rick Caruso would be far greater, sorry, far more ahead of Karen Bass than he is in this poll, in part because of what you said. He spent almost $40 million dollars. He's really on message and playing offense. The other piece is people are returning ballots already. They have been for a while now, and we have data on that. And these voters don't look like Karen Bass voters. They are older, they are whiter. Uh, voters between the ages of 18 and 35, you know, my demo for my show on Snapchat, they, they've only returned about 7% of their ballots so far. And so the electorate so far suggests that the primary would favor Rick Caruso. Obviously, those issues, if you care about crime a lot, if you care about homelessness a lot, you are really motivated and you know where Rick Caruso stands. Uh, Karen Bass hasn't so much articulated much of a message beyond Rick Caruso is bad and vote for me. Uh, and so that will probably change during the head to head if both of them make the runoff. But, you know, he could get 50 or he could get 38. As, we, as you said to me on text the other day when we were texting about this, we have a poll on Tuesday, and that will tell us a lot. Yeah, and, and 50 really matters here because if he's able to get 50% plus one tomorrow, he wins. He's the mayor. Uh, if he doesn't, then there's a runoff, presumably with the two of them. That L.A. Times poll presumes that there's a 67 percent turnout. Most models show that it's about a 25 percent turnout in this and the people that are most motivated on those issues. And we have a full screen of some of the issues that are really driving this race. Homelessness, crime, not a huge surprise, uh, but because those issues are so front and center, uh, you do see people wanting to see change. And Rick Caruso is, is technically a Democrat, became a Democrat 19 days before the election, but a very different kind of Democrat of what we're used to seeing in L.A. You wrote a big profile on him uh, at, on, for Puck. Uh, you went out with him in Venice and took a walk with him. And, and what was your takeaway from spending time with him, Rick Caruso, the politician? The first takeaway was we're on the Venice boardwalk. There's obviously tent encampments, debris. You know, this is a not a new story in Venice. But the guy's wearing, like, thousand dollar suits and really shiny black loafers i mean i've been covering national campaigns for 17 years i was in iowa with john edwards back in 2008 when he got mocked for his 400 dollars haircut and his nice suits rick Russo doesn't care that's his brand and he's owning it um the other things that jumped out at me though were one his bet his point of view on the democratic electorate having watched for example the mayor's race in new york city where a where a cop, a former cop, Eric Adams, and a vowed moderate promising law and order won in a big Democratic city. Uh, in San Francisco, uh, Mayor London Breed, a black woman who is made a very uh, big point about investing in police and cleaning up homeless encampments in the city. That city recalled by an astounding margin uh, progressive school board members who seem more preoccupied with renaming politically incorrect sounding schools then reopening the schools for children, or the city attorney's race in Seattle, where the blue Seattle elected 
a Republican to be city attorney for the first time in four decades against a progressive who wanted to abolish the police. So I believe Caruso looked at this landscape and he really thinks that the Democratic Party and Democratic voters, even here in Los Angeles, are not as progressive as the AOC Bernie left that, you know, you see online, on Twitter, they're in our mentions all day long, every day. They do not like Rick Caruso uh, for reasons you mentioned, former Republican, billionaire, gave to Mitch McConnell, gave to George W. Bush, but now he's a Democrat and he's promising to, you know, in, in his mind, normie Democrats that I can clean up the city and people care about kitchen table issues, public services, and not sort of academic fights that sort of consume uh, the very online left. And, you know, that is an interesting point of view. It's a bet. We'll see if it plays out in November, uh, you know, and or on Tuesday if he clears 50%. It's, it's an right. interesting story. And, 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 you, and to your point, too, Joe Biden won, right? He was running against Bernie yeah. Sanders and running against progressivism, and they picked the moderate candidate because they thought that he could beat Donald Trump. Uh, so when you think about um, what we're going to be seeing uh, tomorrow, why do you think the turnout is so low if these issues are so big, if people are so frustrated with homelessness and crime, if Rick Caruso is spending so much you can't go anywhere without seeing his ad, why are so few people turning in ballots? You know, we will see if the people who do turn in ballots are indeed the people he's trying to target, low information voters, people who don't vote in primaries. He's making a play for Hispanic voters and black voters, men in particular. By the way, one of the most interesting things in that poll, in the LA Times poll, was that since uh, the last poll in April, Karen Bass has increased her support by 33 points among white liberals. But her support has gone down by 26 points among black voters. And again, this is sort of reflective of some national trends. The Democratic Party is becoming the party of women, of yep. white liberals. Donald Trump and Republicans have made gains around the margins with black voters and Hispanic voters. Caruso is going after them. But again, on the turnout yep. question, I think there's a lot of apathy out there. They got Trump out, Democrats got Trump out of the White House. And since then, it's been hard to get them, motivate them to go to the polls. Gavin Newsom had that challenge in the summertime last year. He finally got the message out. You know, uh, again, if Bass and Caruso both make the runoff, they will have longer time to get turnout up. But it's, it's looking pretty dismal right now in terms of turnout. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was with Rick Caruso when Snoop Dogg endorsed him via Zoom uh, and making a strong play for black men in that moment. Uh, Peter Hamby, that's a moment that would play on Snapchat even if this election isn't.